What's up guys, brand new band list just got announced. I'm super excited to go ahead and check it out to see if it's gonna be worth coming back to this game for the newer band list. So when does it actually start? So June 5th is when the new band list officially is going to be taking place. And as far as a new day, actually this is one day before Diablo 4 comes out. <laughs> or if you get the pre-order one, you can get it on June 1st. But anyways, I'm actually, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I'm more excited about D4 than the band list. But let's go get started with the ban list because that's what you guys are here for so it doesn't have a new ban list date like as in like we're gonna get another one no sooner than you know how they used to have that like meme that there are no more memes guys sorry um so when is the new list after this one we got no idea so start right off uh cyber side okay you know what I'm, I'm totally fine with this i think this is a great uh choice and the reason why is you you do have a hefty cost and you do have to use your normal summon four or if you do the combo to like special summon it or and convert it into a psychic so you don't have to pay the life points sure but let's be honest at the end of the day with cyber sign if you open up with the card whether it's a combo into the card or just normal summoning it you can honestly just win duels from it so i'm, I'm okay with this change i don't think it's any like huge surprise like oh my gosh i can't believe they've done that um, it was always a card that had some like crazy potential for like turn one FTKs, crazier plays, but nonetheless, it is actually banned. So, you know, I I'm kind of like, okay, sure. It it it's not going to really affect the game as far as I'm aware of. Um, other than, of course, if you turn one, get this card out, you can just go into Stereo and GG your opponent, right? All right, so that's, that's it. Then we got one banned card. Oh, super heavy Samurai Scarecrow. You know, I got EDO Pro opened up. Uh, we don't need to go over the effect of Cyber Sign, but the Scarecrow is the one where, like, uh, you discard one target super heavy and just special summon it. That is insanely powerful. I mean, it's literally one super heavy Samurai monster. Like, it is too easy just to bust out and bring out something uh, really good. Um, it does have the downside if you can't use it as Link Patrol, but they just straight up banned this, okay? They went straight up from... It, this is new, right? It just it just went straight to, to ban, right? I don't think that it was was uh because it has you know the remarks of like it was limited this was just straight up just deleted um now that does does hurt super heavy samurai but honestly guys as far as i'm aware of, i'm sure cash hero are gonna be hit if cash hero doesn't get hit then it's probably gonna be a super meta deck still but like the rescue ace are gonna be the biggest concerns i think for most people super heavy samurai has that one pen card I forgot what it's called because they always change the name in english and ocg you know? i usually keep up with the game in ocg uh because i'm always covering the newer cards and that's what i usually record my content on is like gameplay of the newest stuff now rescue ace d dunks on like every single deck that that deck turn one has so many like one to two card combos that will just win and that's going to be probably the dominant deck i was gonna say honestly super heavy samurai was gonna take a huge w if they just nerf cash here because this deck is legit it's not like a meme um super heavy samurai is a very very powerful deck but now that they hit this is the deck still functional uh, it's it's a pretty big hit though let's be honest i mean if they just put it to one eh, sure you can still play it but like just banning it outright that's a pretty big nerf all right next up though okay the, the that's the cash tier card okay so if you guys want the full effects i'm not gonna go over the full effect of every single card but i do briefly want to go ahead and highlight them with like some pictures i actually have um the organization open up on another tab over here but that's the card just so you guys have like a picture reference because for me honestly i, I look at the Yu-Gi-Oh picture sometimes i don't even remember the name of the card I'm, i just see the picture and i know it's effect that's the detached one you know you get to banish something out of your opponent's extra face down so it works for the cash tira the uh Shangri-La, uh, which is the other card where, like, if anything is banished, you get to lock out a zone. Th those two in combination, uh, as long as, I guess, if they hit a rise heart, too, um, it'll be interesting to see if they actually hit a rise heart, but, like, those are, like, the, the star players of Cash Tira. What makes it OP is Shangri-La, a rise heart, and, of course, number 89, which technically wasn't even part of the archetype, so maybe they won't hit it that hard. If they just hit this, I think the deck can still function, but is it going to do turn one, lock your opponent out? They can't Yu-Gi-Oh! I would say it's going to be very, very difficult. I'm sure someone's going to be uploading a YouTube combo. By the time this video is uploaded, I'm sure someone's like, guys, the, the deck's fine. I'm a turn one wombo combo anyways. Sure. But like, let's be honest. This is a big hit because what I felt like made cash tears on that level of I don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. I'm going to Magic the Gathering. That kind of feel. That was this card's fault. Let's be honest. And everyone complained about it. Everyone memed it. I, I've, I've even made memes on it uh, where like, you know, the whole board is X. Everyone's face is X'd out. You can't summon anything. You cannot play. I've always disliked that mindset of Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's also one thing that I like with Yu-Gi-Oh is Yu-Gi-Oh goes from zero to hundred instantly. But this card honestly was so unfair. Um, well, it's just basically this card in combination with, of course, this card. So uh, I totally see it going away and I'm not surprised. Will it ever come back? Probably not with the cash tiers, but if that's all they hit, I still think you can play. There's a lot of one or two card combos with cash tier that can still pop off and make a decent board, maybe have a couple of negates, maybe lock out a couple of zones. But I mean, if you're playing against Pen, uh, the deck's still pretty good. <laughs> Just lock out the other zones that they need. Uh, so I think that this hit is probably one of the biggest hits so far on this list. Next up, wow, 
I'm actually surprised by a pointer of the Red Lotus. You know, when people were doing buyouts for this card, like I've all, I talked about this card before, like any of the buy, uh, buyouts happened. Wait, where's the, so a pointer of the Red Lotus, it's like one of those turn one cards that's like really OP. If you guys remember Trap Dust Shoot back when I really enjoyed the game back in like the Teledad, man, Trap Dust Shoot was so insanely powerful. And the point of the Red Lotus kind of is the same thing. You get to see your opponent's entire hand and you just banish one card from it until they're up uh, end phase. And sometimes all you need is that one turn. And with Trap Dust Shoot, Trap Dust Shoot is arguably way better. You don't have to pay life points. And on top of that, um, you, this one makes you reveal your uh, entire hand and your opponent's hand too. So like, obviously you, you go for it turn one, you set it and you could potentially win the game because you get rid of that one card that your opponent has and you get to see their entire hand so you know exactly play by play. Anytime where you can reveal your opponent's entire hand is pretty OP. Yes, it's only if, until like the end phase. So I was even surprised this card hit one, but like if you open up with this card, was it a huge advantage? Absolutely. You could literally win because of this card because Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten so fast to the point where like there is no next end phase. The game is legit over turn one so many times in the game. Heck, I look at it. I'm literally like the last deck profile that I had when I opened up EDO Pro was an FTK deck so um it's it's just gotten so fast and to the point where like yeah turn one it's really good but if you're going second you know you, even if you open up with it like is it usable eh debatable at least maybe you can maybe hit a hand trap if you can wait that long but i'd say that it's fine it's it's one of those cards where like it feels bad if your opponent has it branded expulsion oh oh wow 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 um what's funny is this card was actually used in the FTK, and now you cannot do the FTK. Well, coming forward, you can't do the FTK because these cards are OCG exclusive. Uh, so this will not work anymore. That's funny. I opened it up to a card. So uh, what was super OP with it is you were able to dump certain cards that were like just way too OP, and then it opened up the doors to some really like unfair things with uh, even Miracle Synchro Fusion. That like I know some people like laugh Miracle Synchro Fusion, but no man, there are some really good targets if you know what you're doing and you randomly run up against something that dumps a very specific card and then you can bring it out uh with like ice shade and stuff like that it's it can be really really annoying to deal with so i was kind of surprised that it just went straight up banned but it's either banned or legal like there's no like put it to one because you can search out some of the cards anyways so that was it that, that was it for what was banned so scrolling down to what is whoa whoa wait you got a dragon ruler all right this this is a little bit spicy now so that is a blaster that is the one that pops one or you can uh banish two fire and or dragons and then special summon it okay so people were talking about the dragon rulers coming back and honestly at the end of the day what made dragon rulers so good was them being able to come back and then you just go big eye you go draco sack but draco sack and big eye making them in 2022 like people are 2022 uh, <laughs> 2023 like it's just not that powerful anymore and just being able to pop one card that was actually pretty good back when we had Jalgen up on the the board right but i think that this card still has some potential being able to go for some more plays and on top of that the salmon great it's interesting to see if someone's going to try to throw this in salmon great just for extra fodder i don't know if it limits you to cybers for any of the combos or like only salmon great cards but nonetheless uh maybe someone will throw it in salmon great there's a lot of like fire support that's just random fire support and that it's all supposed to be about like the new burner and on top of that if you think about it the grunix is getting a structure deck reloaded that is coming out next month i believe and so this will probably support it in some sort of a way maybe grunix now will get its effect when it's banished or in the graveyard the new boss monster they haven't announced it yet by the way but that is one thing that that, uh, you know, to be on the lookout for, and maybe they're trying to support fire, uh, really than anything, because that, that's what this card is. So, it is only limited to one, but that's fine, because you just dump it once, and you just keep on summoning it. So, okay, that's, uh, is it going to be affecting the metagame? It has some potential, honestly, to do some stuff, and uh, Blaster has pretty decent stats, too. I mean, look at the stats. It's 28, 18. It's not bad. So, this one kind of came as a surprise. This is the first card over here where, like, I just, if you told me the Dragon Rose was coming back, I would have been skeptical, but uh, that is pretty dang cool. Oh, Circular. Wow. That actually hit Circular. Math mechs have actually been doing quite well. Surprisingly, um, this is actually a really, really good card, uh, but now it's limited. That obviously is going to hurt the deck quite a bit, but you can still pull off. A lot of times with math mechs, not only do they have a good turn one, like I make a super ultimate boss monster, but then they have a lot of like one card, like this is a spell card that recomes back and you just special summon the boss again. So is it going to make the deck unplayable? No, I don't think that math mechs are completely dead, but it does definitely hurt them as it's one of like their better cards. Wow, they actually hit gamma. Unlucky, man. Unlucky. Who has those? Weren't those collectors rare? I know there's a very high rarity of gamma. So, so someone's going to be losing a lot on that one, Kappa. But, um, 
Yeah, Gamma was, th that's a surprise because at this point, no one wants to play Gamma, right? Like if you're playing Psy frames, sure you can maybe play Gamma, but for the most part, you can't just throw it in as a hand trap. But you know, I, you know, I played this in my Dino deck and if I was to play uh, like competitively and I was to play Dinos, I would still run it. But now, I mean, heck, I have one less brick in my deck. You actually helped me out. So it's fine. It's really not that big of a deal because uh, you know, there's so many good hand traps right now in the game. Uh, and I've also been really digging Super Poly recently. Uh, so this it's like whatever. Uh, I think that with Dinos specifically, the reason why is because Dinos can open up their board with nothing on the field. They can just start off with Missile, right? And if they stop that, I don't know if I'm actually gonna see if they've actually buffed Dinosaurs because Dinosaurs are actually getting a lot of support. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see Miss Golden 3 um, on this list, uh, heck, I haven't even played Master Duel. I don't know what's at Master Duel. I remember a Master Duel, though, the list was different for Dinos. Heck, Dinos are still pretty solid right now, and they're getting more support, but I think the Rescue Ace is going to dunk on everything, unless they nerf Rescue Ace. So, Gamma, the, the change on this doesn't really matter to me, at least, but, like, the thing is, is that no one's going to play. It's like putting, uh, what was it, the, uh, what is that? that, that Denko Seca card, Seca's Light, that's like putting that card to one, like, it, you you either play three copies of it, you don't play it, unless you're playing against Cyframe, so like, eh, oh wow, this is a, this is a kind of a surprise, Denlong is coming back, now, I forgot if the, the, this card get, uh, changed at all, so, this one lets you add any Yang Zing card, and I believe, like, you would add the field spell with this, right, that was, like, the combo, uh, that people would do, it's, yeah, it's, you get to add any Yang Zing card, is that a field spell? And then you get to send a worm from your deck to the graveyard, so it dumps something that changes its level. It is a generic. Uh, it's been a while since I, I remember it at some point I was playing Dunlong in some sort of synchro deck. But um, I think it was a pen, pen synchro was uh, busting out this card. But it leaves the field as special summoning Yang Zing for. I think this will actually have implications. I don't know if they eroded this card. Someone let me know. Did they erode this card? I think they eroded Ancient Fairy. Uh, was the one, but I think you either go for the field spell or something. I just remember this card opened up a lot of FTKs, so I don't know if that's going to be a mistake or if they like eroded it somehow. But as far as I can tell, this is a pretty good effect to just bust out, search out a card, and then bust out another one. This could actually have been maybe a mistake for some sort of FTK sort of plays. Oh, shoot, they hit a Rise Heart, too. So Cash Tira, they lost one of their best starters, like, in terms of, the, like, the turn one combo with 89, and then they hit a Rise Heart. Um, as long as Shangri-La is technically the most important card of the deck, like, what you're going to be summoning again and again, but, like, you only now have one Rise Heart. So if this card goes away, they really don't have too much recovery, and they don't have an insane turn one play. So, <coughs> so I would say Cash Tira's got hit pretty hard. Uh, let's see if they hit Unicorn as well. All right, so purely delicious memory actually like you know what's weird is like uh, i'm gonna keep it 100 i didn't think purely were that insanely op i mean like sure any deck in Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays with modern Yu -Gi -Oh, like anything can pop off but the fact that they hit this to just nerf like the special summon purely i i never thought this deck was like really good i it's kind of like one of those things where i i maybe i just get really lucky and every time someone plays period they they just fall, they just brick, but like the deck to me just did not seem that insanely powerful uh, compared to what else was there. What the heck did this seek? Naturia Sacred Tree? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to explain this one to me. What? Uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add any Naturia card. What combo is this used? Is it used for the tribute? Why is this at one? Is this is this somehow linked to the purely? I, I, I genuinely don't even understand. Why the heck did they hit Sacred Tree? bamboozled honestly i don't know man yo did we get mally to three dang dude we still didn't get mally three i was gonna be really excited oh wait they hit unicorn too it's a, it's the two so it's still playable um they actually buffed up herald of orange are they supposed to support like the the uh two elements like are they coming back no probably not wait they actually hit lightning storm that's that's a what the heck that was like that's a big surprise big surprise runic fountain also a uh, hit to semi limited and then engages at two. They're actually making more sky striker support, so I'm not even surprised by that. That was a very, very popular deck. And then Sprite Starter is now going to be semi limited. So uh, okay. Uh, next up, though, Steam the Cloak no longer on the list. Gen X Ally Birdman. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! This might be a mistake, guys. Now the reason why this card might be a mistake, there's something called the Birdman uh, FTK, and basically, guys, it is back. We got triple alert. I don't know if you play it in dark worlds but that actually might be a thing uh to play in dark worlds uh you'd go it's it's kwakimiru doom birdman uh, was that is it just kwakimiru oh, and then like gallus the star beast which you can summon easily um so there might be some someone trying to do fdks again 
uh, with this combo. But I don't know if there's anything to drag something else out of the grave other than going for like maybe like the Charmer Dark. I don't know. I just guarantee you, some someone out there, you know, will probably end up getting gameplay footage of the Burbat FTK. Uh, you know, someone send that in. I want to see that. Samsara Lotus was wait, wait. So this is something that was forbidden. Now let me double check on what this card's effect. This is actually a pretty spicy ban list. Like we've gotten a lot of stuff for like a content creator standpoint. Like I'm glad Cash Hero was hit um, more than anything. The Super Heavy Samurai that probably would have been like one of the best decks if they didn't hit it. But I honestly, dude, it doesn't matter. Rescue is going to be the dominant one, no questions. But Samsara Lotus over here says if you control no spell or trap card, you spell summon this in, from your grave right in face up attack position. The controller of this card takes a thousand damage during each of their standby phases. So, interestingly enough, do you, what was it for Super Super Heavy Samurais? Because that's the archetype we wouldn't have it. Um, why? <laughs> is there some sort of FTK with this card? It just says the end phase, and it's not a once per turn. I don't know exactly why this card... I, I guarantee you there was some sort of loop, though. There, there's got to be some sort of a loop that if it just special summons, it is during the end phase. I mean, I remember when people were doing Treeborn Frog with enemy control, and they thought it was, like, the most OP thing, but, like... I don't know, is this card just outdated? It's like a, like the way I'm looking at it is like now, and it's during your end phase, not during the standby phase. So you can't just come back again and again, uh, instantly during the standby phase for your plays to be good. It's only during the end phase. So I don't know if there's some sort of, I think it was like some sort of seed plant card and you could do FTKs and it's gotta be something along the lines of that. But um, the fact that this card takes controller a, a thousand damage during each of their standby phases, are you supposed to creature swap it and make your opponent? I don't know. Why was this card even banned in the first place? I'm gonna have to research. I probably <laughs> made a video on it and I forgot. But quick fix uh, was limited, so that's gonna be a change. That uh, oh, restart of Starling was semi limited and now it's no longer a list, so it doesn't really matter. Draco face off was limited, so maybe we'll see some Dracos and then multi roll. Okay, so they're buffing Sky Striker. So at the end of the day, Sky Striker is going to be seeing a little bit more play. Uh, obviously, Cash Tira hit very hard, but uh, let's be honest, we all expected that to actually happen. Deadlong could open the doors for some more FGK plays. But anyways, those are my thoughts on the list. I think the list overall was pretty decent. Like there isn't anything that's gonna like ruin the game except for maybe Denlong. Denlong could be a, a, one of those contenders for a very big mistake. Maybe Samsara, once they figure out what the heck, uh, you know, you can do with this card, why was it banned? Because this was the only forbidden card I believe that came back, right? That was, there's only one. Oh, I guess there's Blaster too, but the Samsara has been banned for many, many years. But Blaster, I, I think that Samsara card, I'm gonna look it up. It's got it's gotta have something though. But th that was it for the changes of things coming back. Uh, so overall, pretty W ban list. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below and let me know what you think is gonna be the best deck after this ban list. For me, I've already said it 10 times, but I'm say 11. The new best deck is 100% Rescue Ace. Anyways, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below on this ban list. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.